Ponies in the Net, Countess Rose here, and okay, this is not usually my forte. I don't do these types of rant videos, mainly because of school workload at the time and also my Pissport editing speed is a major factor, but this is a special occasion. For those not in the know, for the past couple weeks, Lily Pete has been on one of her crusades, if you will, because of a art diva, aka my friend Sapphire Heartsong, who had the audacity to want credit for her work that was used in one of Lily's videos. Now I know going through and crediting the sources of every single visual aid is tedious, just like it's tedious to credit sources when writing a paper or doing research or, you know, any other medium, pretty much. But hey, your time is precious, and I get that. But when someone comes forward and asks to be credited for their time and effort, most non-knobs would take the three seconds and do so. Hey, I've had a similar situation happen to me two times, in fact. See these two images? I was contacted by the creators of references I used to create these. They wanted credit, and I saw no problem giving it. One of these content creators just so happened to be Lightning Bliss. Hmm, the very artist behind the piece you said you were asked to stop using, which led to this whole debacle. Now, I want to keep this short, so let's wrap this up with a little food for thought. The hashtag respect the artist, a hashtag I am fully behind, FYI, was our call out to you. Your response was earn the respect. Now, Try and follow me on this. After Bliss requested that you stop using her work, you moved on and decided to choose one of Staffy's to take its place. Of all the images of groups of analysis on Google, DeviantArt, Tumblr, or any other web source media, you chose her picture. You made the conscious decision to say yes, that image is the one that's going in my video. Now, Lily, I know that you have a lot of pride in your work and you will not just put anything into it. Your ego won't allow it. Now, I know I am probably will just be classified as a, another crazy art diva who happens to be a published illustrator and also has been recognized in two national art annuals for my student work, but I would go so far as to say because you chose Sapphire's work over everything else that you saw on the ether, that you saw some value in her work. You saw enough value to get it over the bar and past the cut into the, your little echo chamber that you call a channel, which we all know is ex exceedingly difficult knowing your habit of blocking people, censoring comments, blocking hashtags, anything that threatens your personal view of yourself or your mindset. Anything that challenges that. But what do I know? I'm just an art diva. Just a little food for thought. Oh, and one last thing. Lily dear, if by any chance you saw this video and actually made it to this point, I got a hashtag for you. Enjoy your echo chamber.